Warning, the following may contain succubi. Join fantasy authors Phil Tucker, Tamandra Whitecastle, David Benham, Benedict Patrick, and Josiah Bancroft as they roll dice and take on the bad guys in a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Five authors, five worlds, one adventure. It's time to get crit-faced. Previously on Crit Faced, returning to the Blue Water Inn, Jean Mallarmé cannot resist the crowds gathering to hear Rictavio perform. When Rictavio learns Jean is a fellow performer, the party's bard is invited to take the stage. How would you like me to introduce you? Me, 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 me. <laughs> me, 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 me. Excuse me, what's the, what's the question? How would you like to be introduced, Jean? Uh, uh, yes, I am uh, the famous, the incomparable, the unmentionable Jean Mollemet. Okay, one second, one second. Let me warm them up a wee bit, and then I'll, I'll, I'll bring them. I'll bring yes, you straight on. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, Rectivio jumps up to the on top of the bar, and immediately everyone in the bar gives a big cheer. It's, it's probably one of the most joyous noises you guys have heard since you came to Barovia. Um, and it goes, ladies and gentlemen of the Blue Water Inn, good evening. And they're all shouting and the wine glasses are banging on the tabletop. Uh, and he says, guys, I've got a treat for you tonight. And no, not just me, although yes, you're right. That's a pretty big treat. Uh, I've got a friend here who's going to be performing for us soon. soon. Jean Mallarmé. Jean, give a big wave to everyone. Hello, hello everyone. How are you? <laughs> so, Jean has assured me that he's got a song for you guys that is going to yes. knock your socks off. It's going to be the yes. best thing you guys have ever heard. Yes. Um, but um, I, mm. And then some people from the, the crowd start shouting, start shouting, uh, Rectavio, Rectavio. I was like, come on, guys. And Rectavio, you know, says, to them, guys, it's okay. You know, I'll be performing too. It's fine. But Jean's going to be here t- as well. Jean's <laughs> going to be, uh, you know, performing. <laughs> Are you, Jean, are you all right over there? I, I mean, I, 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 the, 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 the cheering for me, yeah, I, you know, well, why, why don't you, <clears throat> you, know, I, I, you know, I'm not feeling very well now that I, I think I have a, a frog, in, right, <clears throat> a right, frog right. in my throat. Jean, you'll, should, be, you'll I, be absolutely fine. These guys are, are amazing people and the crowd just cheers <clears throat> and, and they'll love you, I'm sure. I'll, uh, I'll warm them up and then we'll, we'll begin. All right, guys. And Blue Water in. I'm going to sing a song for you tonight, just before Jean uh, joins in. What, what would you What would you like to hear? And there's loads of different names of songs that you guys have never heard of before. Um, someone. The monkey the... steals the master's hat. <laughs> someone close. <laughs> I, who said that? <laughs> someone who? close to the bar says, "The funny one, sing the funny one." Uh, and Octavio goes, "Ah, oh, of course, of course. I knew someone was going to ask for it." Right, Jean, are you ready? In a few minutes. Uh, yeah, yes, no, no, I'm just warming up, I'm just warming okay. up. Right, I'll kick it off, guys, and then it's over to Jean. Are you ready? <clears throat> and he gives a, a big cough, and he goes, okay, everyone, here we go. The monkey steals the master's hat and runs into the meadow. The master chases after him to fetch his princely halo. Wait, Jean, are you, are you all right, Jean? Are you okay? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, and then the, the rest of the bar is cheering and cheering and everything. And um, he continues on. He continues on. He, he sings the second verse. All right, guys, that's just a wee ditty to warm you up. Jean's the master here. He's got something for you. Jean, what would you what would you like to say? Uh, uh, um, well, uh, the funny one. <laughs> the funny one. Yes, the funny. You you know what the funny thing is? The the the, the funniest. Thing ever is, um, and I will cast a minor illusion. <laughs> what's, your, what's your minor illusion? Um, <clears throat> I, I will cast the sound of a angelic voice singing a perfect uh, aria, and I will lip sync to it as it comes out. <laughs> Uh, do, do you want to take apparently a, my mouth do, do you want to take a performance check <laughs> and people will weep well, they will weep yes, Marla May is lip syncing right. that's can we can the rest of us roll to tell that he's doing this 
Twelve plus seven guess, yeah. is nineteen. Nineteen. All right, guys, take your perception checks. So. Yeah, absolutely. The DC nineteen. Yes. Um. <laughs> well, I certainly nope. can't tell. I can't tell. Neither can I. No. Nope. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. And the, the you know after oh. after, after you finished yeah. After you finish, the crowd is silent for a second. You can see a couple of tears in the audience. And then as one, they all stand up and give you a huge round of applause. You get a standing ovation. And, Thank you. Um, uh, uh, Tigo says, wow, Jean, that I've, I've never heard anything. I mean, I've been to lands far beyond here. That's uh, that song I just sang. I picked up somewhere you've never heard of before. And But I've never heard anything like that. That was That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It comes. That means a lot coming from a fellow uh, singer. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just wrung out. <laughs> it was all the anxiety. <laughs> I go up to John I, and I say, I, I never thought that you had such a voice. I've never heard you sing or even speak with such passion and power. John... I'm gonna. I am taking it back. I'm gonna encourage John to stay up all night writing new songs. <laughs> Thank I think you. I'm going Thank to you. go. I'm going to go over to Rick Tavio, and uh, uh, I'm curious where he heard this song. So, um, so uh, is this in between performances? You're going up to him. Is that right? Yeah, when he's uh, Master you Sona, know, uh, how are you doing? The first one, the the monkey's hat one. It's a bit weird, but it was for you. It was for you. <gasps> Oh, thank you so Aww. much. And then about that, actually, um, I you remember I mentioned uh, that I also know Bard. Uh, I've heard him sing that song, but I happen to know that he's not from these lands. No, I and he, you know, he 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 looks a bit extremely dubious. And he says, "I I really doubt that it's it's from it's from somewhere else. It's it's not the kind of it's not something else. You, maybe you heard someone who heard me sing it." Might have been singing it in Velaki. That's, I mean, it's really the only way that could have happened. I'm not sure. Um, I've never been to his uh, place of origin, but I, I, I've heard it's called the Tower of Babel. Have you ever been there? Um, what's your What's your insight? What's your What's your insight modifier? Um, plus five. Oh yeah. So yeah, you. I mean, there's an instant you know look of like shock recognition that he hides very quickly and he goes well, that sounds like a really unusual place you say your friend is from there he is at least that that was what he told me you told me you were from somewhere else as well where exactly are you from master son i am from yours have you heard of it Okay, uh, and again you can see that it's you know he's certainly trying to hide his his reactions to Interesting. Uh, so um, I did notice that uh, you came in with a party of people. Um, now I've got a, a wee set to uh, to finish up here, but can I maybe get buy you guys a, a round of drinks once we're done? You seem to be uh, very interesting uh, individuals. Well, I think we uh, we we'll really always need take to... free drinks. Always take free drinks. <laughs> I think we really wanted to go rest now because <laughs> we wanted to get up very early in the morning. But if you're still around, maybe uh, we can grab some breakfast together. Uh, oh, I don't normally do breakfast. Uh, what, what, what time are you thinking, Master Sana? I get up at six o'clock in the morning wow. every morning. Wow, okay. Um, I mean, I might still be awake, uh, but I, I think that's a conversation I'd be interested in having. So, yeah, Ooh. let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Oh, are you here with Jean? Night. Are you here with Jean? Uh, I am here with Jean. Sometimes, uh, oh, he seems I am... like a great guy. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, wow, he's, that was beautiful. He's great. Yes, yes. I don't know where that comes from, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys uh, in the morning, and um, yeah, I think we we should talk. I'm I'm, I'm very interested. Hmm. Well then, see you tomorrow. Okay. Master Sinna, what did he say about me? <laughs> he said you, you have an angelic voice and oh. um, he's yes, never, yes. ever had anyone ever outperform him, but you 
did it today. Well, you know, I would say his uh, performance of the monkey sees Max's chat was sort of marginal. It was a marginal performance at, at best. I, I, I think that I could I could probably uh we should go to bed. Everyone we should we should just go to bed. <laughs> and our losses. It's also funny because Master Summer can't actually like she can't discern in music. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it just like it all sounds like wah 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 to her anyway. Oh. <laughs> uh, Lord Telfrin kind of peers at John. Says, you're, you're, you're sweating, John. Is everything all right? You look a little no, nervous. It's, it's completely fine. Completely fine. This is exactly what I was expecting. That someone <laughs> would steal my my song um, for my uh, you know crowning performance. But yes, no. Otherwise, everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's okay. all turn in then. Yes, let's sleep. Okay. Um, so guys, we've had a, a, a long rest. It goes, uh, it's uneventful. Uh, so you get all hit points, all hit dice, all your spells back, possibly new spells uh, coming into your brain. Um, it is, it is the morning. Yay. You're still alive. <laughs> so, uh, Kellen, how are you feeling this morning? Rested and ready. Absolutely. You look it. You think they make biscuits and gravy? At this we place? don't need you to spit into any more of our food. So, no, they don't. <laughs> <We're> leaving <laughs> only kebabs. Okay. So uh, Danica is uh, down at the bar, and um, she gives most of you a smile and a nod. She. Just looks at Jean and heads back. Hopefully, uh, well, we imagine Irwin's already at making breakfast. Uh, Rick Tavio's there too. Um, he's he's not looking particularly happy uh, to be up at this time. Looking particularly more bedraggled the, than than last time. You get the impression he maybe had a bit to drink last night. He's nursing his head a wee bit, but he still gives a weak smile and a wave when he sees uh, Master Sonna, um beckons you down. Um, to, to the table that he's at. Yeah. Hi, no, hi everyone, no Master Sonna. Hi, how are you, how are you doing? Uh, Jean as well. Uh, welcome back. I didn't realise you kept such good company. And, and who who are these other fine companions? I may oh, introduce uh, him. It's yes. uh, Lord Talfron Black Oak mm -hmm. and Kellen. I don't remember his last name from some barbaric lab. McGrag, McGrag. McGrag, that's, that's correct. Yes. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Master Sonna tells me you uh, you guys aren't from around here. Um, in fact, well, some of I think are... we're all from around somewhere. We're all like, you know, yes, around here. I think, yes. Can I recommend a, 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 a hangover cure? You get a glass of wine, you crack two eggs into it, uh, a, a good stirring in a pepper, and then just a tablespoon or three of vinegar. You stir it all up, and you got to get the kind of frothy, and then you drink it down in one shot. Right, give me a second. Let's get, let's get Danica over here, and you can, you can tell her that. I'd, I'd be really interested in that. Uh, I will tell her. <clears throat> Danica, Danica, come here, come here. And uh, Danica you know, gives him a big beaming smile right up until she sees who he's sitting with. Uh, and then she, she uh, very coldly Hello. comes over. She goes, yes. And, and, and Can I order a, a drink for my friend? It's a, a glass of wine, two, two, two eggs, and, 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 and uh, two tablespoons of vinegar, uh, and a big crack of uh, black pepper. On the, you know, whisk it all up and you give it to him and he'll fix him right up and you, you, you're, you're looking like this and no. Mm. Um, so she looks away from you back to Rectavio. She says, you sure about this? He's a bit of a messer. And um, Rectavio just continues to beam and he goes, no, I, I trust him. I trust him. Like, uh, please, Danica, I'd like to try it. Anything, anything, please. Um, so she gives a nod and heads back inside. Um, so Rectavio addresses the table and says, "So, uh, Master Sonna tells me you're you, you're all uh, from far far seas. A couple of these places sound very familiar. Is that so? Hmm. How do you move through the fog then? I well, I, I told you yesterday that that it's going to cause a bit of a problem for me, isn't it? Uh, in the future, don't worry about that though. 
Tell me more about yourselves. Who's from the tower? Master Sona mentioned the Tower of Babel. No, no, and one no. of her companions... John! Is that Hello! You! It is me, yes, yes. Uh, in the Tower, I am known as something, as uh, a famous uh, actor, singer. All right, I, I, I haven't Bro. heard of you when I was last there, but, you know, that was... It was only a year or so ago. I, um, Were you in the like the, the the skirts? Are you down in like the 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 the, the, nah, the pan? I, I mean, didn't. I didn't get up. I didn't get up that high. Uh, like, yes, I'm new, sure you didn't. New Babel. Didn't. New Babel is <laughs> as far as I got. So yes. it's not that impressive. Obviously. Well, I was pretty well known. In new Babel. I was. I was. I was. I was known there. Right. I would say. Oh, I mean, you know, more recently, maybe like not a year ago, obviously. Uh, no, of course, that's my heyday. That's when everyone was like, oh, Jean Marnet, Jean, Jean, Jean. Can I buy you a drink, Jean, Jean? Like, sing a song, Jean, Jean, you know? In, so, in you, yes. uh, oh, okay. Good, good. Fine. And and you didn't hear me at, uh, of me at all? Um, uh, I mean, the name is familiar. Do you know what? I'm, someone who sings like you must have stood out. Did you have a, a stage name? Was there something else you went by? No, Listen, no. Uh, it's, I, the part no stage name. My, my, my name is. is, is oh my. <clears throat> I didn't spend that long there. And listen, the places I'm the I'm places I performed in, you, they they're, they're not for someone of your caliber. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, I'm just a bit embarrassed actually that you heard me sing that little ditty last night. I mean, that's really just there because the locals like it. McGrath, can you can you can you add like your special um, uh, ingredient to his drink before he comes, please? Like. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. What continue about, on, sir. What about, what, about, what about the rest of you guys? So, so where are you guys from? So, wait. So, you've been to Jean's homeland? I mean, like I said, it was it was a while ago. But yeah, you know, I I, I travel. I, I like to travel. And how do you accomplish this? When we came through, we could not return through the mist. Well, no, and 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 you can see he's 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 trying to. Uh, you know, avoid this uh, this sort of line of conversation, and he says, you know, like we, there's ways, like the Vistani make their way around as well. You know, I'm not the only one who makes my way through the mists. Um, so you do the same as the Vistani, then, is what you're saying? Oh no, no, they've got something else going on entirely. So, so um, what do you have going on? Um. So. Ask your question, there, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see he's getting a wee bit cagey. Um and he goes, So McCrag, is that it? McCrag? I ask you ask your question there, my friend. Yes. I, I think if you uh Jean, you'll back me up here. A stageman doesn't reveal all the trade secrets, right? It's if true. you're not willing to be open with us, then why should we be talking to you? Because he's a man of fashion. <laughs> Look at <laughs> And he looks to he looks to Master Son and he says, I I didn't wake up early just to get ambushed like this at the breakfast table. I thought we were just going to have a nice chat about places that we've been to and sites that we've seen. This wasn't what I'm I was sorry. expecting. I'm sorry, Victavio. The thing is, uh, I'm sure you're a very nice person, but we have heard of people who have this ability to travel the world by ways that they do not wish to disclose to us. And I... I'm in dire need to return to my home, and I cannot go through the mists. And he says, well, listen, I've already told you, I can't go either. Okay, it was a one-way trip for me to get here. It was a bit of a mistake, and now I'm stuck too. I told you that last night. But then how can you go to other places? That's not important for any of us. Okay, what's important? A bit like you guys, I'm stuck here. And it's for the same reason it's the guy that brought you to this place. Strahd. That's him. Have you encountered him? Me? No. Strahd? I'm still alive. Most people... Do you know of others? We heard in Barovia that some traveller had tried to uh, raise the town against him. There have been a few revolts, from what I can gather... Uh, over the generations. That one that you're talking about, the most recent big revolt I heard about was about a decade or so ago. Um, I've heard stories of people like yourselves. I've never... You're the first that I've met, though, since coming here. I've only been here about a month. Hmm. So, From what I gather, most don't make it as far west. 
Well, if they've encountered as many troubles as we have, <laughs> it's no <laughs> big surprise that they don't come much further. Hmm. Well, this is very disappointing. I was sort of, I was hoping to get back home. Yeah, well, I can understand that. I, honestly, and I mean this for all of you, even you, Black Oak. If I could help you, I would, but I can't. So what do you think of this barren guy who's forcing the people to be so happy? Um, yeah, he seems a bit weird, to be honest. Um, some people like him because they keep him safe. Erwin seems to like him, more or less, but it's a bit unusual. Have you uh, seen the stocks yet? Mm, I've also seen the children in the stocks. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah Which so I do not approve. There's a bit of that going on. I guess it's better than the alternative. I, I made my way through uh, the village of Barovia on the way here, and certainly Velaki is a lot better. Not been to Kresik yet. I haven't heard much about it, to be honest. They seem to be very religious over there. So I don't hmm. know I don't know if they'd welcome someone like me. But I'm afraid I don't have I was just looking for a wee chat. I don't have I don't have anything to help you particularly. So where do you Well come it's from a then? pleasure to meet you, Octavia. And it was good to hear your music last night. Yes. That's true. Okay. It was it was it was a very Fair, medium level performance. I think, uh-huh. right, oh. serviceable. Like it was a serviceable performance. I think no one was disappointed. Uh-huh. No one was like moved. But you know, everyone was just, hey, we heard music, and that's the you want. You, that's the that's the best kind of re- response you can get. People who say like, thank you for playing songs. Oh uh, well, listen. If I'd known you were a native of the tower, I would never have sung you something like that. I'd be quite interested to hear you <laughs> sing it sometime. Maybe you could give me a few pointers. Yes, maybe I can. <laughs> okay. This headache is not going to go away. And whatever it is that you've asked Danica to cook up for me here doesn't seem to be helping it. So I'm going to go lie down again. And um, mm-hmm. Are you going to be sticking around the Blue Inn for a while? No, we are on uh, urgent business to find uh, a fellow companion. Right. Well, listen, I wish you good luck. And, uh, a lot of stories about missing people here in Barovia don't tend to end at all really and um mm. hopefully yours does and i hope it ends well i bet yes. you good day. Well, thank you thank you i i and i think like the, the the main thing is like uh sometimes you're a little flat on your your your, your high notes and you want to practice those like you gotta nail those so have a good sleep and enjoy your 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 your, your respite all right thanks john thank you <laughs> i hope i see you guys again all right take care Okay, Me take too. care. What's the plan, guys? Head to the you winery. Must... Okay. Yeah, well, yes, we have to like, but we have to like uh, milk as much as we can from these people before we go, right? Well, no, we have to go to the. So, how about we go to the we go Burger to the Mike. church first. church church all right church Let's have a look around uh, maybe with luck, <laughs> uh, Irina will be there. And uh, if she is not, then we can continue on to maybe the Burgomaster and at least let this person know that we are looking for our friend. I, I agree. Let's go to the church. Um, so uh, is Mark, who has been with you, but quietly the whole time. Um, he, <laughs> uh, he does say, just as you guys are, are getting up from the table, he, he, he raises a hand uh, and he says, one, one moment, my friends, please. Um, I, I have been giving this much thought, um, and, and certainly I will accompany you to St. Andrews just to, in case Irina is there, but uh, I think I will remain in Valaki um, to look for my sister, uh, or at least uh, so that there is, is somebody here in case she does make her way to this place, which seems to be the safest place in the valley. Um, it seems sensible, yes, yes. Hmm. Um, I would rather, with what we have seen um, of, of Baron Velakovic, I, I would rather spend my time with Father Lucian uh, at the church uh, and not make my presence known unless I have to. Um, but um, we shall see what Father Lu- Lucian has to say about that. Yes, and we'll miss you. Yes, we will. We'll, we'll talk of you often. <laughs> okay. 
So are we are we happy to, to head on? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, guys, just doing a wee time check. Uh, how uh, How is everyone doing for time? Doing all right. We're doing that in another half hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll see if we get a, na- a natural end point somewhere. But... Okay, so um, guys, uh, Danica is happy enough to give directions to uh, St. Andrews, which is just to the west uh, of Valaki. So if you travel the same distance again to the west uh, from the Blue Water Inn, you come to the church. Um, uh, and there's a, it's definitely the biggest building you've seen so far, guys. It's, uh, it's obviously this big stone building here just on the main road through uh, Varaki. Uh, it's uh, got a bulging steeple uh, at the back. The, the walls are lined with uh, stained glass windows. A lot of them are cracked, but still seem to be, you know, vaguely clean they've got different pious saints on them and stuff like that there's a fence of iron um enclosing the graveyard right beside the church um and it's the it's the one place that you've noticed so far in the the, the town that actually does have mist uh, just coming uh, from the gravestones um this is oh. saint andrews mm-hmm. I'm, I'm excited to see more mist i, I did miss the mist <laughs> Okay. Um, shall we, shall we go we inside? Inside. Um, so it's uh, it is a considerably better state of repair than the church that you had back in in Barovia. Um, uh, this uh, not not dissimilar, to be honest, to the actual interior structure, but um, the, the pews are actually clean and and not broken. The room is not color- covered in filth. It's kept uh, humble, you know, clean. Um, there's a, a, a man there. Uh, he's uh, in his roughly 50s, could be into his 60s, um, uh, with sort of short uh, grey hair, a um, uh, very nice uh, uh, trimmed beard, uh, and he turns around and, and you can see he's wearing um, similar robes to what Father Donovich was back in um, back in Barovia, and he says, Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, how can I help you uh, on this fine morning? What is it you request from, from the morning lord? We, um, we're we here to seek uh, a blessing, for we are on a quest to find our companion, who unfortunately was lost on the way. Okay. Um, um, so he, uh, as, as you're saying this to him, this, uh, this, this wee boy runs in, uh, to, to the room, uh, up to the priest. The boy comes from the, the sort of back rooms, uh, and you can see that the kid is about sort of eight, nine years old. He's not dressed in particularly great gear, but he runs up to, uh, the priest and, and they have a wee whispered conversation. The priest seems to be, being quite kind to him, giving the boy instructions, and the boy runs off to do whatever it was he's asked him to do. And he turns around and he says, the morning Lord is always willing to give blessings. Um, would you like to tell me uh, more details or just a general good luck that you're looking for? We're actually looking for a woman named Irina, and we were hoping that we would find her here, for she's a, a very devout believer in the morning Lord. Okay, and uh, as you say that, um, you know, Ismark steps forward uh, and he says, uh, Father Lucian, um, uh, my name is Ismark. Uh, I am the son of the burgomaster of, of Barovia. I, Irina is my sister. Um, she, has, she has been missing uh, and I thought that she might seek you out here. Um, and uh, the father, Father Lucian, um, you know, he again looks at Ismark for a brief second uh, uh, and then uh, you know there's a look of recognition on his face and he said uh, what why why have you come here why why are you not uh, what has happened to your father um, uh, and and they basically run through events basically of what's happened fill, filling in Father Lucian uh, about the situation and um, afterwards uh, you know his face looks grave and he goes hey there's there's been no sign no sign of your sister at all. Um, the, the, we've had nobody strange coming in to the town, uh, not since the the performer at the the Blue Inn uh, about a month ago. Um, and yourselves, you're the, the first new faces I've seen since then. I, my son, I'm I'm so sorry. I mean, he puts a, a hand on uh, Ismark's shoulder and uh, to console him. Um, 
and, and he looks to, to the rest of you and he says, if, if not here, if, if she's not here with me, where, where else could, uh, could this Irina be? This is what we desire to know also. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I, I'm, um, I, I, I certainly will ask the morning Lord, uh, for his blessing. Um, there's, there's nothing really else I can, I can do for you at this time. Can, can, can we just like ask, like, do, you, do you have like a, a basement of any kind? Any sort of cellar, you know, I mean, just a, sort of, like, you know, an oubliette or some sort of like hole, that, you know, you have underneath your sanctuary and where things are being held. And he, he looks confused for a second. He looks to Ismark and he goes, I, what, what's going on here? I, I mean, we, we have a, we, we do have a cellar. Is there, why, why would you ask that? Well, you know, recently we were at a church and they had a cellar and it was a very exciting place. So we were just curious if yours was similarly exciting. It's, I mean, it's, it's more of a crypt that we have under there. But... A crypt. Oh, well, yes, that's, that's very, very tedious and boring. Uh, can we see the crypt? Um, so he, he looks no, instantly suspicious uh, and, and he turns back to Ismark and he says, what, what, what's going on? Uh, and and Ismark says, "I I really don't know, uh, Mister Mallarmé. What? Why? Why are you so interested in? in well, the I'm a, of a, this a, I, you know, I'm I'm sort of like an amateur, like like uh, archaeologist. You know, I just uh, I, I, I I I'm curious about um the past, generally. Yes, yes, I'm curious about the past. But we're also looking for um. Oh, hang on, wasn't there? You just said like graveyard with mists uh, mm-hmm. rising, but mm-hmm. wasn't that like one of the clues for the? Um, uh, oh yes, yes, Ava yes. Ava told us like there yes. was a, there was something with a graveyard with yes. mists. Yes, uh, one who will help you. A graveyard, a misty graveyard. Yes. Oh the, yes, yes. Strangers wander this land, pulled from another world by someone else. Doesn't stay anywhere long. Saint Markovia's Abbey near the mists. That's what I got. I just my God, you, know, you take notes. My, my God. notes. It's my barbaric didactic memory. Yes, yes. <laughs> so Father Father Lucian says Saint Saint Markovia. That's uh, that's over. At, uh, that's the Abbey at Kresik. Um That's the the western the western village in the valley. That's that's where Saint Markovia's is. Why why would you need to go there? I don't know. We were told <laughs> in uh, in in a prophetic vision that we would find something that would help us against Strahd. All right. Well, that that certainly sounds of interest to 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 any patron of the Morning Lord. But um, I can't help you here. We do have a graveyard, like the rest of Barovia. It is extremely misty a lot of the time. But uh, Saint Markovia is unfortunately is is. Far west of here. I, I, I'm just curious. Like, do you have any sort of like suggestions of how someone might go about combating vampires? <laughs> Com- I, combating vampires? Do you have any magic yes. swords? <laughs> I, I didn't want to come out and say daggers that uh, contained like magic properties. But yes, do you have any suggestions for how you might? I mean, let's say, let's just say there was a vampire in your basement. I'm not saying there's one. But I'm saying that this is it was. There was a vampire in your basement trying to get out. Uh, what would you do to combat that? I, I mean, I, I, I just don't know. I mean, there's how do you deal with with things like that? I yes. How do you? Do you have a means of blessing our weapons? Oh, yeah. Mm. I am. I, I think that what you are asking of me is something that's well beyond my capabilities. I, I can ask the Morning Lord for his blessing, but I do not think that you will see any physical uh, changes because of that. So your puny god is worthless. That's what I'm hearing as well. Yes, this man is worthless and his god is the garbage. Let us leave this <laughs> terrible place. <laughs> Why do we make friends wherever we go? It's like inevitable. Hey, it's inevitable. I've been talking to this man for our food. It feels like half an hour, and all he's told me is that, like, yes, then some things happen some places, but not here. So, 
There's no like monsters in your basement. There is a graveyard that has like some mist. So a game yeah, with monsters. the why the crypts? Ain't, do you have something to do with the crypts? And yes, I do. And he suddenly, yes. he looks very suspicious. You should. What do you know about what's happened in my crypts? Well, I don't want to alarm you, but I am something of a magician. So. Can I roll some insight here to see why he's getting you all yep. this way? Go for it. No, not that great. Um, I will try as well. I can so 12. Insight. Okay. 12. Why is why is Jean going on and on about crypts? Well, uh, no, I'm oh, kidding. sorry. Is it, so 12. <laughs> um, Master Sonna, did you roll as well? I did, but it's uh, worthless. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you you definitely get the the impression that that Father Lucian is is upset about something, and, and it's, it's become um, now he he's wondering whether um, he's become interested in Jean now. Um, yeah, well, I have to say, when I've never met a man of the cloth, I want to see his basement, and you haven't shown me yours yet. So <laughs> I say we should take a look. Come this way. And he uh, leads uh, Ismark uh, and him at the front uh, and yourselves. And um, he leads you uh, to the back, uh, behind, uh, off to the, the, the vestry, off to um, you know where the, the priest's quarters are. And there's um, uh, um, yep, there's a wee staircase. There's a wee staircase down to the crypt. At the bottom of the church. Ah, yes, this is why we have McGrag with us. McGrag, McGrag, there is a um, um, a steak dinner at the bottom of the stairwell. Out of my way! <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, oh, Dios mio. So he, he takes out uh, an iron key from his robes, and he um, there's an iron door in, in front of you as well, and he opens the door. Um, and it sort of creaks open to the crypts. It's a very small room um, that he's opened it up into, and it's, uh, he's, he brings in a lantern from outside so you can see it. So it's just a, a 10 foot square room. Uh, you're beneath the chapel now, uh, and on the uh, center uh, of the crypts is a um, rectangular table, stone, solid stone block, um, which is empty. And he looks to Jean again, and he says, "Tell me again, what do you know about this?" What? So I just want to like make sure I'm, I'm clear here. You have a place for storing the dead that has no evidence of the dead being here. Is that right? Or is there like something I'm missing? Um, so, and he says, "This is this is the Church of Saint Andrew." Right. The reason it's called this is because. Uh, for centuries, the bones of St. Andrew have been here beneath the church. Um, yes. And he places his hand on, on Ismark's shoulder and he looks at Ismark again and, and he says, the, bur- the Burgomaster does a lot of work here in Valaki to keep its people safe and I believe he does have a good heart. However, everything that he has done has got nothing to do with our protection. It's got nothing to do with the reason that Strad leaves Valaki alone. The bones, the bones of Saint Andrew, have kept us safe for centuries. But two nights ago, those bones disappeared. Oh, Crit Faced is a weekly Dungeons and Dragons podcast. To make sure you never miss an episode, and to get an exclusive prequel episode of the podcast where you can find out what our characters were up to before this adventure began, head over to CritFacedPodcasts.com and join our Crit Faced fan group.